We are live on the Tracy's Collision Cam. Let's see if we have Kung Fu Theater going on again this morning with our lips. <laughs> our our lips say no. matching the words that are coming out of our mouth that didn't yesterday. I spoke nicely to the computer before we got started. That's very good. Very nice of you. Kenny, producer Kenny's not in here. So it's you and I. You're going to have to right. run the cameras and be entertaining at the same time. <laughs> You're talented. I know we you can do it. We did it last week. We can do it again. Uh, what's in the box is coming up here in the next... 10 minutes. We're going to tell you what's in the box. It's sitting in here and it is gross. It I don't is nasty. I don't want to get into it too much. The door's open and the contestants are here. They're in the other room and they still have their phones. Yeah. So we're not going to tell you what it is yet. Uh they're here to win Kane Brown tickets and we had one. I feel even worse now. It's Anthony. Anthony drove here from Grand Island and the dude is on crutches. I know. Added to his commitment. All cramped up in a car. Drove here, <laughs> and I think he's here by himself. He is, yeah. That's dedication. We have another guy that's here that uh, he's an older gentleman. His name is Jim, and is he sitting in for his daughter? Yeah, so his daughter went into play, actually, and then something came up. She goes, I said, oh, no worries. She goes, well, do you still need someone I take it? And I said, I do. She goes, let me call my dad. My dad nice. would love to play. Nice. Here he is. And then we have Corky and her husband, and she did the thing that I hate the most because I don't remember anybody. I don't remember anybody. And she, I, we go in there, and she's in there with a guy, and she says, yeah. I shook his hand, and she says, do you remember him? Oh, that's the worst. Said, no, I don't. I have no <laughs> idea who he is. Well, I should have because they were on, we did one time, we did uh, What Would You Do to Win? Luke Combs tickets is what it was. Okay, yeah. And she said that she would throw ice water on her husband. Um, to wake him up while he's asleep. So on the Tracy's Collision Cam, she did that, and it was hilarious. Like, he, I can't wait to see it. He was cussing, and <laughs> like he had no idea that it, what was going on. She ch he, he chased her out of the house. And, oh, he chased her yeah. out of the house? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. So she's here. I, I think she's the one that's going to be playing, right? Yeah, I, th I think she is, unless okay. he wants to give it a shot. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll have three contestants. There's one item that's in the box, and they have to guess what's in it the quickest. We will give them a clue as to what's in it, and then the time will start. They'll go in and try to figure it out. Now, have we ever had, have you guys ever had anything like this before? No. Never? No. Okay. That's no. exciting. Yeah, and, and we'll get further into, well, we'll exactly, we'll tell you exactly what it is in, yeah. in just a few minutes, and then... When you get on the Tracy's Collision Cam, you'll be able to see it in the box. They are not. It's it's gro It's gross. Yeah. It's not good. It's not. It's not anything anybody would want to put their hands on. No, I felt weird just having it in my car. Oh, I don't even know. I felt uh, very weird, like it was tainting my new car. We'll grab their phones. We'll come back in just a few minutes, and we'll tell you what's in the box with John Henry's plumbing, heating, and air conditioning that our three co uh, contestants will be competing for Kane Brown tickets. That's all next. Oh, yeah. Gary and Johanna in the morning. Sing, 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 sing in the morning. Oh, they're laughing oh, Jake. up in there. I, I did send it um, through text. I can send it again. That's weird. He said he didn't get but I definitely text it. Hmm. Um, it. It was a long week for you, Mary. Are we Kung Fu? If we're not. It was a long week for you, Mary. I can't tell. My eyes are so bad. I can't tell if it's Kung Fu. Hello, hello, hello. And now, Are of course, I'm quiet as I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh, I think it is Kung Fu. Is it still? Yeah. Um, if it is, it's slight. It's a slight Kung it's Fu. It's not as bad, maybe. Yeah. I Dang. think it's like a Taekwondo. You know what I mean? Not quite <laughs> as tough Just and aggressive as down. Kung Fu. It's going to get better and better every day. Okay. Oh, someone just said, I think you're good so far today. So if it is, it's I think it's slight. pretty close. Yeah, I'm just being a perfectionist. Yeah, Willie, I don't know, man. May have to may have to have you clean up this box like every other week or something. <clears throat> Dude did a, just a 
bang up job on it though. It's cre I felt confident I was not going to contract anything lifting the box up today onto the table. So that's a win. Looks good today. Mouth matches words. All right, Gene, we'll take it. I think I'm being too hard on us, maybe. Um. Okay, Jake, I'm going to message you here in a second. Yeah, so quick update yeah. if you missed it a few moments ago. We had uh, yeah. we got an update from Diane and TJ. They were on yesterday's Why Am I Still Single? They were like the second couple because Rachel, she opted for the steal. Yeah. And so she got Jake. TJ ended up with Diane. They went out last night and had drinks. And Diane and TJ. What we're hearing, yeah. now we've not heard this from TJ, but what we've heard from Diane is that TJ talked about his ex like pretty much the whole time. Yeah, big, big, yeah. big no-no. I so feel like there needs there. to be, like, date prep for people. Yeah. That's but you're, that just means he's not over her, right? I mean, that's probably what that means. That, and I think sometimes guys think defaulting to relationship talk is a good, like, conversation filler, and yeah. it is absolutely not. But I just I don't found, think I, Now, what I found that. was entertaining when I was dating when my wife left me was um we would talk about and she would share stories too like funny um funny dating stories or experiences that you've yeah. had while dating yeah, like yeah, yeah people for sure. and, you know it's just kind of light and, and funny yeah but in no way would you get into i don't think i ever talked about my ex-wife never right yeah no, again, that's like once you're at the point where you're like hanging out at each other's houses and you're like many dates in if if you need to talk about it. Yeah. Like, why would I want to tell? First of all, I wouldn't have anything negative to say, but then right. I, I've, I've, but I don't want to say anything positive either. Like, right. Do I want to tell a girl that I'm dating that I still go on family vacations with my ex-wife? Right. Yeah. She, she don't want to hear that. Right. <laughs> That I, that I scrape her, that I shovel her lawn, that I shovel her sidewalk when it snows. Yeah, it might like put people off a little yes. bit, you know. Yeah. Because in my head, a guy would be thinking, "Dang, this is going to impress her." But then you don't want to wait too long to where they're wondering why you kept. Oh, you have a whole family, you know, like right. you do that. You know, you don't want to wait too long. But yeah, definitely not for state talk. Do you want to go grab their phones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And watches. <clears throat> I would say that he talked about his ex and he's not fully over her, but also not good on dating yet. Yeah, Shannon, what did you what did you not get? He there were two different dates that came from why I must still single yesterday because we had we had two steals, and so um, one of the two, TJ and Diane, went on a date last night. Didn't go well. He talked about his ex the whole time. Mm -mm. The first guy that's going to come on the show is really, he really is a cute old, older man. Jim's his name. You want to shut that door, too? Do you mind? Corky is? All right. It's easy to slip up when you ask, oh, who did you go see fill in the blank at? Oh, Dougie Fresh, what are you saying, man? It's easy to slip up when asked, oh, who did you go see? What are you talking about? No, uh, it's true. Ashley, thank you. I got it cut a couple days ago. Survived it. Yeah, I survived it. The lady that <laughs> cut my hair, we were talking. She, um, we're talking about COVID, and she was just telling me how nobody in her family has ever has got it yet, and they've even like her daughter or something was sharing food with somebody who that night had COVID and her daughter didn't get it. She's like, we just, I think we're immune. I don't think we can get it. 
Fast forward to two hours after I got my hair cut, she texts me and says, I'm so sorry, I just tested positive for COVID. She even <laughs> knocked on wood because I said, you're going to jinx it. So she knocked on wood. She was showing no symptoms. <coughs> now, oh, you can get into X Talk. I just saw that backing up. If someone says, so why are you It's got to be funny stories, though. You can't, I mean, I don't think it can be like. If you keep talking about them. I, d- I guess I just don't want to, if it didn't work out. I don't think you even want to get into, she l- she cheated on me, she left right, me, she this, yeah. that. No sad stories. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy, Ash. I couldn't believe it. She felt bad about it, but it was worth the haircut. It's worth taking the risk, I think, because I like yeah. the haircut this time around. Maybe she knocked on, like, her plastic. Or, <laughs> yeah, from my <laughs> <laughs> She knocked on the wrong thing. Maybe. It wasn't actual wood. Yeah, no, I'm going to check into that, Jacob, Jake, um, as soon as we're finished up with what's in the box. Because I did send it, but then I just wrote her back to make sure I got the right info. But, and then I, I did send it to the right person. Have we had that happen before where they don't? Because I text him her info. Yeah. And he didn't get it. I don't know. But I have to find your message is the problem in between a bunch of concert keyword submission so uh, it's buried unless you don't mind sending a text real quick to 474 frog so you can be bumped up to the top that would be helpful yeah why don't you do that i would appreciate that because i can't find you oh sam said i once drove four hours to hang out with a guy i really liked and he talked about his ex the entire time <laughs> guys are idiots i know i don't know that women do that like I maybe they do, but I think so. Yeah, especially if it's fresh and she's just simply going on a rebound. But aren't date. they usually if it's fresh, a woman won't go on the date. A guy will because he's horned up. A girl might just as a distraction. But she's more in touch with her emotional side than a guy is. That's true. Yeah, that's a good <clears> point. <throat> oh, hundred dollars on gas, less than nine. Nicole K. Yeah, exactly. Life experiences doesn't mean you always. Hung up. <laughs> Maybe you just did a lot of fun things. <laughs> I like your special voice that you use for Doug. Oh, Dougie. Thank you, Jake. <laughs> Have you heard from Rachel at all from yesterday? No. 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 Uh. Nope. <clears throat> I haven't either. I can only assume she's. Busy with far more important things than yeah. messaging. Yeah, yeah I'm probably so. <laughs> probably so. All right, so we're about to tell you. You can see now there's a jar in there, but you don't know what's in it yet. Oh, yeah. And Christina, yeah, I said five dates, too. Yeah, that jar. I need to probably open up the lid. Oh, I don't know if you want that smell. Are you sure? <laughs> you can. You can. You can. Listen to your favorite morning show on the Tracy's Collision Cam. Every morning. Just head over to Facebook. Facebook.com slash Froggy981. What's in the box? Every Friday we do it with John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. We bring in three guests, and they compete for concert tickets. They have to figure out what's in the box and, and the fastest time. If they do it this week, they're going to Kane Brown. That's what we have for them. Uh, two guys and a girl this morning. We have Jim, who was actually in for his daughter, who couldn't make it. Yeah. Uh, we have Corky, and then we have Anthony. Anthony is, his leg is all bandaged up. He's on crutches, and he drove <laughs> in from Grand Island to play the game. <laughs> and he looks really happy to be here, yeah, too. Yeah, we're to excited. We're really excited that all three are in here, and but yet we're apologetic at the same time. Because Do you of, smell that, by the way? you have to touch, it's disgusting. You're probably going to have to oh. spray something. I don't know if I can take the smell of it. No. This is bad. So if you're on the Tracy's Collision Cam, you can see. We've grabbed their phones, by the way, and no no watches. They don't have any smart watches in here. No, I checked the wrists. Good good on you. Um, So we can safely tell you what is in the box right now. It's gross. We've never done anything like this before, and I love it. I love the idea. And I can't even believe that we got our hands on it or that anybody would keep a collection of this. (laughs) I it know, doesn't that's the weird seem part. right to me. That's the weird part of it. 
And I don't know. I don't want to know who you got it from. I know that you've got connections. Yeah. I had to make a little bit of a drive for this one. Can you tell us, uh, before we say what the item is, where you got it from without saying the name of the of the business, obviously. Right. So they're, yeah, they're in conjunction with some stables. It's a different type of uh, veterinarian. They specifically work on horses. Okay. Now... <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, it makes sense to me that they would have to do this, but they have to take care of the horses. They have to clean the horses. They have to do their, you know, their uh, their feet, or I don't know, they don't have feet, but what do they call Their shoes or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and their horseshoes. Yeah, they have yeah. to trim their hair. They have to, they do, they also have to tend to their ears. Yeah. Now, what I didn't know. Big ol' ears. Is the <laughs> amount of wax buildup on some of these horses. And I imagine the reason, we didn't get into a ton of details, but I imagine the reason being that they keep some of this around is to, I don't know, test for infection or, right. I don't know, that's the only thing I could think of of right. why they would be, have so much available right. <laughs> for us to borrow. That's what we have. We have a jar and inside the jar is ho horses. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a lot of different ones because there's a lot in it there. It cannot be from the same one, Horse I don't think. earwax. They're yeah. going to touch this and try to figure out what it is. Ugh. Now, you can imagine, first of all, how nasty and disgusting it is just pulling it out of your own ear, but what a horse looks like. There's chunks <laughs> in there. <laughs> like, there's, like, nasty, hard oh. chunks in there. It's disgusting. We're going to tell them right out of the gate. We're going to tell them uh, a clue, and this came from a vet. That's what we're going to tell them, right? Yeah. And then 15 to 20 seconds in, that's up to you. Yeah. Uh, Megan is going to start making horse sounds Yeah. for another clue. And then finally, at 30 seconds in, if they haven't said what it is yet, you're going to just say the word Q-tip. Q -tip. Even right. though, obviously, they're not using a Q-tip. I don't know how they extract right. it. I have junk. no idea. It's not <laughs> a Q-tip. It's not a Q-tip. So we're going to give them a, uh, some clues on the front end to see if that helps them to figure out what's in the box. Again, the fastest time will be winning tickets to Kane Brown. Uh, I'm glad the one guy, he's here with his wife. Do you see all the rings he has on his hands? Yeah. <laughs> I was worried. It was going to get all up in there. <laughs> I saw that. Again, if you want to watch this happen as our guests come into the studio to play What's in the Box, get to Froggy981.com or on Facebook, Froggy981, and you can watch and participate in some of the comments that are happening right now. Uh, it's with John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Our first guest, Jim, he's the older guy. He will be coming in first, putting his hands in the box, trying to win the Kane Brown tickets, and that is next. Wake up, wake up. Oh, you guys wouldn't you wouldn't do this? Oh, oh, it's so bad. Not one person will guess this. Well, that's why we're hoping with the the clues. I think they will when you give them the clues. I've never nade before, but I'm just gonna go for it. Um, <clears throat> Christina, I'll bet you a plum that they somebody <laughs> will. I mean, somebody after the Q-tip thing, yeah. I would think. Right? Do you guys have any better suggestions than We used to have a that? You know what? Oh, I don't think we have any more. Hmm. A light that we would put in there. Oh, really? Okay. Oh wait. Yeah, wait. Is it over there? It may not be charged. Oh. Oh, oh that's just this little ring ring light. I don't think that would work. Doug said the only true winner is the girl who couldn't make it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what they're gonna guess. Oh, is it dead? We have paper towels in here. I'm gonna have to. I got the hand sanny. Oh, Jake, you've actually cleaned their ears. That's. I would imagine that's not a fun thing Did to do. Did they keep it, Jake? Where you were at? Yeah, I'm curious. This is the same Jake that. Maybe that's why he switched. 
jobs. He couldn't take it anymore. Now he's stocking the the cokes. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Danielle. That is you. Danielle is the one whose dad, Jim, is here. Oh. She said, that's me. You're the true winner. Good morning. Oh, yep. There was, I was going to say there's a white one laying around. We will not forget the participation ribbons today. You know what's weird about the smell? It almost has like a... It has like a like an old <laughs> smell, but there's here's a weird thing. There's almost like a hint of like sweet, That's but gross. not a good sweet, not like candy sweet. It's like a tang. There's enough with in an there. Old. What I want them to do and remind me if I forget is when they're done. Yeah, the time is up. I want them to to scoop a little bit with their finger oh, yeah, and pull yeah, it yeah. out so they can get a good. Oh, look that's at a good it. idea. Yeah. yeah. I'm worried. Yeah, I don't want people to like take the whole thing out because then we're not going to have any earwax left. There's a lot. Oh, it was a volunteer thing you did. Yeah, they most definitely did it. And the way the co it was it this color because this color I'm thinking maybe they kept this oh. because they had to check for an infection. Like I said, I don't know. And we could have done worse. You know, we had a listener one time that their job was to pleasure. Uh, oh, is either a horse or oh, I don't remember which one. That's a job. Yes. <laughs> how yes. Do you, that's a, how you, you know what kind of job that online? is. I don't want to get too dirty. How would you How would you word that online? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Mary, you kind of dodged a bullet with this one. But they're Kane Brown tickets. We had to really... Um, slash Froggy 981. This is What's in the Box with John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. We're about to bring in our first guest. Uh, make sure your monitor is off, Megan, so yes. you can't see. The first guy that we're going to bring in, his name is Jim. Okay. You can go ahead and go grab him if you want. And we'll tell you again what the item is. It is horse earwax. We have uh, a jar of it that we got from a vet. Now, we're going to give them clues. The fastest one they can figure it out. They can't see it. They're only going to touch it with their fingers. The fastest one will win tickets to Kane Brown. If you want to see this happen, again, you want to get to froggy981.com, or you can go to Facebook, froggy981, and... Uh, be a part of the show there too where you can see some of the comments that are rolling in here he comes hey jim buddy come on over here i gotta put your did you put those there's gonna be a set of headphones there for you jim you see those over there anywhere yeah put those on And then we'll get you all set to put your hands inside this box. And see that microphone? There's a microphone over there somewhere. You want to get it? You may have to help Megan get it real close to your face without. Yeah. Now we're kind of set up. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Good. Now you want to talk real close into the microphone. Do you have any idea? Now we know that you were kind of a, a backup this morning. It was supposed to be your daughter coming in to do this? Yeah. What happened? How come she's not here? chickened out <laughs> <laughs> have you touched them now once you get real close see how close i am to the microphone have you touched some odd things in the past jim yeah okay because you're about to do it again there's something in this box that you're going to touch is it does it look okay uh megan because i know we hit it oh no. there's there's an item in the box that you're going to have to figure out what it is and if you do that in the fastest time you're going to win tickets to Kane Brown. If you win the tickets, are you going or, you, or is your daughter going? We both will. You'll go with her? Okay. We're going to give you uh, some clues because this may be a little bit of a challenge. All right? The first clue that we're going to give you, Megan, do you want to give them the first clue? Oh, we're giving the clue first? No, remember the first thing that we're going to tell him. Oh, this is from a special type of... A doctor. This is from 
a veterinarian, actually, and an animal doctor. Yeah, that's all you get right now. Now, I want you to listen as you put your hands into the box, okay? Because we're going to give you additional clues if you don't figure it out as you're trying to, uh, you know, figure out what it is. Now, if you think you know, just say it. If it, whatever comes into your head, just say it. We're not looking for one particular. Do you, it's not just one answer. Just rattle off yeah. different things. And if you if you say it, the time will stop. Do you have any questions? Do you look a little confused, or are you just trying to take no, it all in? Just listening. You're just listening. All right, are you ready to play? I guess. All right, so you're <laughs> going to hear a countdown, Jim, in your headphones. Three, two, one. Uh, when that happens, put your hands inside. And then there's there's the holes are on, on the side. side. Yeah. Yep. Now, there, what the item is placed in a jar. I'll tell you that inside. The jar is already open and ready for you to get your hands inside. It's time to play What's in the Box with John Henry's. Uh, we wish you the best of luck. You got the timer ready to go over there, Megan? Already. Okay, so, uh, Jim, hang on one second. Let me get this ready to go. And and now we're ready. Good luck to you, Jim. The game begins in three, two, one. All right, put your hands right, inside. Jim. Now, get to also get your mouth close to the microphone. The time has already started, Jim. Okay, hurry, Jim. Get in there. Any idea, Jim? The fat came, of, came from a vet. Keep that in your head. Came from a vet. Hey! <laughs> Feels like nuts. Feels like nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, I'm, your next clue is Q-tip. Came from a vet and Q-tip. You heard that sound. Feels Did like stickers. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not hearing the clues, Jim? She's making. Do you hear the sound Yay! effect? That, that is horse. what is. That's a horse. Yes. Q-tip is your other Q -tip clue. Q-tip is the other one. Horse and Q-tip. Connect the dots, Jim. What are you touching right now? And time. And that's time. Uh, why don't you go Let ahead? Do you have any on your finger? Tissues yeah. here. You do. Why don't you pull it out and take a look at it? Any idea now looking at it, what that could possibly be? And talking to the microphone so we can all... Vaseline. Vaseline, no, that is incorrect. That is what you're actually looking at is earwax from a horse. That is horse's earwax. Yeah. I don't think I do a very good horse. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's me. <laughs> so, so don't feel bad, Jim. So listen, you're the first one. That's okay. We don't know if the other two are going to get it or not. They'll come in and, and compete as well. Don't tell them whether or not you got it right or wrong. Yeah, you don't want to give them any clues. Yeah, you don't want them to get it right because, you know, then this is just going to be randomly we'll right. give away the tickets, okay? Yeah. Our next guest is going to come in is Corky. She's going to put her hands in the box and see if she can figure it out. Um, that is coming up here in just a few minutes. Again, it gives you a, a few moments to get to froggy981.com. What's in the box? Back in three minutes. Gary and Johanna in the <laughs> uh, well, thanks, buddy. We appreciate you coming in. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh -huh. mm. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's gross. Christina, though, we just give it away at random. I feel confident that somebody is going to do it. I still feel good about it. Oh, 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 oh. I just do not like the way... This whole thing is positioned like the microphone. You know what I mean? It's so know, hard for them to, to. It just doesn't go up any higher. He goes, that must have been a big flush. <laughs> it's not from one <laughs> horse, Jim. <laughs> what did he say at first? The heart, uh, the like. Nuts. The he nuts. <laughs> nuts at first and then he said a sticker. That's funny. Oh, it's too mild for Micah. Well, Micah, put your money where your mouth is. Why don't you come in <laughs> next week? Let's do it. Ethan, watch your mouth. They ain't all getting tickets. <laughs> we have nice, silky participation ribbons. 
Yeah, lapel mic would be would be easiest if that was possible. That smell makes me feel well, like that's nasty. sick. Ugh. Danielle, thank you. He's my best friend. We Aww. do everything together. He's sweet, Danielle. I'm so happy. I mean, obviously, we, w we would have loved you to come, too, but he's awesome. We're happy to have him. <coughs> Karen, have you ever played? Has Amara's mom ever come and played? We've had her on a couple of times, but never for What's in the Box. She's more than welcome to oh, come in sometime. Be though. She'd be great. A riot. Yeah, it's nasty. Just nasty. Kind of makes my head hurt. No, it does. Like when I smell things I don't like, mm, it makes yeah. my head hurt. Yeah. Then I followed him to the bathroom to show him where the sink was, and yeah. he smelled like it really bad. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> can you center that box just a little bit just so you can see that both of the. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the yeah, just both of the openings, yeah. It hasn't it hasn't updated yet on the cam. Let me go here for a second. A little more. A little more. I think even more. Like maybe even It's so hard to set I know. I actually met Gary before Froggy 98 came into my school and friend, Dr. Seuss. I remember that. That was a long time ago. When I was in, wait, wait a minute, Danielle. Were you in elementary school when I saw you? Please say you, that's not true. Please say that's not true. Yeah. <clears throat> What's in the box with John Henry's plumbing, heating, and air conditioning? Froggy981.com is where you can watch it happen or on Facebook, Froggy981. We had... Jim go and Jim could not figure out what the item, what the item is. And Be it, honest it, with me, am I a bad horse? Uh, Do I make bad I, horse I, mean, I think it's. I don't know. I, he wasn't connecting the dots. I know. Yeah. No, I don't think that's on you. I got to blame Jim clues. on that one. Yeah. No, he sounded fine. Okay. It's earwax. It, it is horse earwax is what we have, and there is a ton of it that a vet has collected. You got your hands on it, and we have it in here this morning. It's in a jar. Uh, we will tell them. We will tell them that it is from a vet, and then uh, 15 to 20 seconds in, you will start making horse sound effects yeah. to give them a clue, and then we will say Q-tip, hoping that that will lead them down the path to horse's earwax. And if not, it's just gross that they're touching horse's earwax, <laughs> and Somebody's you can see that happen. It. Do you want to go get Corky yeah, now? It. Now, Corky, if you're a fan of the show, you may remember this moment. It was one of my favorites that we've done uh, over the last year. She was trying to win tickets to Luke Combs, and she threw cold water on her husband to wake him up when he was asleep, and then he chased her out of the house. That's uh, that's who we have coming in now. Hey, Corky, how you doing? Put those headphones on there. We're going to talk to you for just a minute. We're live on the radio right now. So see how I have the microphone? Kind of pull it towards you a little bit and pull it down. How you doing? good you ready to put your hands in here i'm nervous are you yeah she's really she's really nervous she said jim is not in there psyching everybody out though he's being he's sweet too about nice it of a guy he's did, he, sweet. did he say anything about what it what happened in here just that he's gonna kick his daughter's butt <laughs> <laughs> i bet so yeah corky you're trying to win Kane brown tickets you're trying to get the fastest time we can't tell you what jim's time is all right we're just going to worry about you right now. There's an item inside of that box. You can't see it. There's two holes on the side. Your hands are going to go in. You've seen this before. You're going to put your hands in there and try to figure out what it is with the fastest time. We're going to give you some clues. All right? I will tell you that the item is not good. You're not going to like it. Oh, God. All right? Yeah. We're now, not just, like, psyching you out for no reason. Uh, the you're working for this. The first clue that you're going to get up, uh, up front before you even put your hands in the box and before we be begin the game is we got it from a vet. Okay. Okay, now just keep that in your head. Now, as you're touching it, 
Megan is going to give you additional clues. Yeah. So listen to her while you're still trying to figure out what it is. Keep throwing stuff out there yeah. as you're feeling around. Right. And if you stumble across the answer, if we hear it, then the time will stop, and that'll be your time. Do you have any questions? Nope. <laughs> Are you ready to play What's in the Box? Uh, uh, sure. You're going to hear a 3 2 one countdown in your head. Well, in your headphones, when you hear that, put them inside and the, be the game will begin. Okay. All right, here we go. Good luck to you. The game begins in three, two, one. All right, Corky, get them inside. She's there they in. are. Oh, she's oh. in the jar right now. <laughs> oh, her, her face. face. <laughs> put the microphone close to her right face. Right up to the you? mic. Yeah. Um, what does it feel like? What do you think that is? Poop? poop? No, that is. <laughs> Here's your clip. Yay! A horse? Something? Okay. Um, intestines. Uh, there's. Oh. Do you feel the chunks? Yes. <laughs> How's that feel? Gross. Any other guesses? Um. Q-tip is your next clue. Q-tip. Q-tip vet horse. I have no idea. It's gross. Um, <laughs> I cannot watch there, this. There something off their hooves um food teeth mane i would think Their that the, yeah and i would think that uh q-tip would give it away but in the moment it is really hard to figure out corky go ahead uh, do you have some in your hand keep it in your hand and pull it out we have napkins before so you can take a look at it do you see that there yeah, what you're looking at is a uh, horse ear wax that came out of a horse's ear, <laughs> and uh, we put it. It's in that. That's several different horses, not just one. You see, there's a there's a lot in there. Yeah, and you couldn't it's like connect. Very brown. You looking. couldn't connect when she when she did. You get she was making a horse sound effect. I, did I sound like a horse? I heard horse. Okay, yeah. all but right. But then when you heard Q-tip, <laughs> I mean, what else would you? I just. I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, you can use Q-tips on anything. <laughs> okay, that's a good point. That's a good point. I mean, Q-tips are very versatile. Okay, yeah, all right. That's true. Well, unfortunately, your time is nothing. You did not yeah. figure it out, I all right? It, it happens. It does. We have one more contestant. His name is Anthony. He's the guy that drove in from Grand Island to play the game. He'll come in next and play What's in the Box. Bring me along. Gary and Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want out of it. I don't even want to smell it. Um, um, oh, that's so great. Now, now what's going to happen? You're right. You guys called it. I don't know if they're going to get it now. The first thing I think of is ears when you say Q-tip. That's what I'm saying. She was definitely okay. grossed out. Yeah, she's uh, dry heaving in the bathroom right now. Okay, Anthony's our final guy. He's the oh. guy that drove in from Grand Island. And we have to we have to keep the same. And it, obviously, it's got to be the same clues and everything. <clears throat> oh, he, she, see, Shauna said I grew up with horses. We never clean their ears, so Q-tip would throw me off. Hmm. Yeah, my guess is they cleaned it probably to test it for something, yeah? Yeah, like I mean, it looks like know. it It looks infected. I don't know what it's supposed <laughs> to look like coming from a horse, but to me, <laughs> I don't want to tell them if it's it came out of earwax. a human. <laughs> well, I didn't ask. I know. And so, and part of me, I think, didn't ask, even though I'm a curious person, because I didn't want to know, because it yeah. had to go in my car. Right. Volume is low. Yeah, see, we had that uh, issue yesterday. I have no idea what's Did going on with these cameras. Did that just start, though? I wonder if it's because Well, what happened during that is it went into Zoom? one channel, yeah. and I hear one in, in another oh. radio station in my ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so. first thing I, th thing I think of is ears when you say Q-tip. See, that's what we were thinking, too. Mm -mm. Obviously, they didn't use a Q-tip, right? But... Anthony, wrong Anthony. Um, 
<laughs> Anthony, I'll try my hardest. Oh, my volume is fine. Okay. No Kung Fu Theater. Yes, that's a plus. Johanna's, oh, is Johanna on here? It's early. She said she don't watch till after eight. Well, she had to see what was in the box. Yeah. Hey, Johanna. <sighs> when it's over, give them the clue. Shrek's candle? I don't know that reference. I know who Shrek is, but I don't. Oh, yeah. It's the candle part of Shrek. They, they do something with earwax, I think. Oh. Yes. How do you know what Anth what Anthony it is, Casey King? <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I felt really bad for her. That perma No, it's a different Anthony. Face. Kristen, it's a different Anthony. The Anthony that's in here does not have a cell phone. At least I hope he doesn't. We have three phones in here. Yeah, unless they have a backup phone. They were hiding. Nobody has the phone. We'll know if he says uh, horse earwax. Yeah. One second in. Horse earwax. <laughs> I know that one. I have to go clean my ears now. Yeah, go clean your ears, everybody. This is your friendly <laughs> reminder to not have earwax that, that looks so like bad. this. Oh, my head hurts. Oh, hey, Johanna. What's up, girl? Uh, it looks we, like you're getting up early enough to come back on the show, huh? We got the earwax we've been wanting, but this time it's it's from a horse. <clears throat> I made it to the stables. Yeah, everybody <laughs> seems to know Anthony. Did he tell everybody that he's going to be on the show well, this morning? Yesterday, yesterday. Sam is live. Facebook.com slash froggy981. What's in the box? John Henry's plumbing, heating, and air conditioning. We have uh, two contestants that have gone, Jim and Corky. Neither one of them figured out what was in it. Corky, I feel like, was a little bit closer than, than Jim, but I still. I going to get it. Uh, me too. Uh, what we have in the box this morning is horse earwax that we got from a vet. Uh, we will give them clues. Now, if Anthony can figure this out within the 60 seconds, he's going to win the tickets to Kane Brown. You can watch this happen now at froggy981.com. Anthony is the guy that drove in this morning from Grand Island, which we felt bad about already. But then you add to that that the guy came in here on crutches, and here he is crutching it in right now. I think he said that he had some type of an injury playing softball. Okay, Anthony, uh, you're going to want to put the headphones on and then see how close I am to the microphone. That's how close you want your mouth to be. Right. We'll just talk to you for a second, and then we'll get into the game, okay? Let's do it. Did you tell a lot of people that you're going to be on this morning? There's, you have, I'm watching the cam here. Yeah. There's a lot of people that are rooting for you. Good deal. They what think you're going to get it here this morning. So, I have a good feeling. So you drove all the way from Grand Island? Yeah. What time did you have to leave this morning to get here? Uh, I left the house just after or just before 530. Man, that is crazy. We appreciate the dedication. That is that dedication. I'm going to feel terrible <laughs> if you don't get this. Well, let's hope I do. <laughs> uh, there is an item in the box. We, can, we can't tell you what Jim and Corky did. Okay. Right. Have they said anything to you in the green room? No. Nope. You have no clue what's in it? No idea. All right. When you go inside, it is contained in a jar. I will tell you that. We will also tell you that the item that is in there came from a vet. Okay. All right. Now, keep that in your head. All right. That narrows it maybe just a little bit for you. Got you. Uh, we will give you additional clues as we move through this. Sounds good. All right. About 15 to 20 seconds in, Megan will give you a sound effect. So, listen to that sound effect. And then, we'll give you a one-word clue about halfway through. We hope that if you don't have it, by the time you get to the one-word clue, that should connect the dots for you a little bit. Okay. And really not make you feel comfortable about what you're touching. <laughs> to say the I mean, least. It, it takes a lot to gross me out. So. Okay. Well, let's see how we'll this find goes. Out today. Have you seen this done before? Oh, plenty. I watch it every week. Perfect. We appreciate it. You're going to hear three, two, one in your headphones. When right. you hear the one, that's when your hands go, hand goes in and the time begins. Sounds good. Are you ready to play? Let's do it. The game begins in three, two, one. Hands inside, hands inside. There they are. You can see a jar. Oh, what in the world? I remember where this came from. That just feels waxy. Okay. Interesting. Feels waxy. Uh, <laughs> is it like... <laughs> is it like earwax? Like dog wax? Like Nay! Nay! Nope. Oh, 
It's horse. <laughs> um, hor- yeah. What? Horse wax. Horse wax. Horse wax. That yeah. is correct. You got it. That's horse ear wax. Do you have your phone on you? No. Did somebody text you? No, but that's interesting. Uh, Megan, I'm, I apologize, Anthony. You are. We trust you that you are, because you are a listener. However, Megan, can you pat him down quick? I need wow. to just know whether or not why I he's standing to, there. <laughs> make sure there's no cell phone on him. There's nobody, <laughs> nobody texted no, you. No, he's good. That's, yeah, that we, good. you just had your. Did you feel the? Did you? Were you able to feel any of the chunks in there? Yeah. You felt the chunks. Yeah, I felt the chunks. What did it feel like? <laughs> I t- I felt one chunk when I brought it home yesterday, and I almost puked. It was hard. It, yeah, it feels yeah. almost like rocks. Yeah, yeah. It ve- that's interesting. Yeah, it's gross. Do you want it? You can take it home with no, you. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I don't let that be all you gave. Uh, <laughs> you are taking home Kane Brown tickets. Congratulations. Oh. And Anthony, you should know this. The other two couldn't figure it out. So no, no. no but as long as you got oh, it man. within the sixty seconds, you're gonna win. Way to go. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you going to Kane Brown, buddy? Thanks Let's for coming in. We appreciate it. Appreciate it. Gary and Johanna in the morning. Sun, sun, sun. Gets me through my morning every day. Yeah, you did great. Nice work, buddy. Thank you. So listen, you're going to fill this form out, and then I can't remember if it says. Yeah, they're digital, so we'll. Okay. Nice work. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you too, buddy. Yeah, thank you so much for listening. We really appreciate it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Oh, was that the wax hand? You did me wrong, Anthony. (laughs) See, now that's what I was thinking that it was going to happen with the other ones. I don't think so. No. Yeah. For just the ribbons. No, just tell them thanks for coming on the show. You can you can be make the the uh, the awkward announcement that they didn't win. <laughs> you can't see this, but we are, uh, and I don't think Heather Miss Jackson, Miss Dirty Nasty Girl, is on here. But we are giving them the participation p- participation ribbons. Megan is filling that out right now. <coughs> It's funny when I see the the caption, because the captions are on my phone, when I see them say that I called her a dirty, nasty girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, that's not the nickname. I just... <clears throat> I need to know what it smells like. We'll keep some for you, Johanna. I hear it smells like the plug, you know what I mean? We're going to do that one week. Johanna kept it. (laughs) This is a good one. These are going to be hard to top. You know what I mean? So now we got to think of what we're going to do for next week. Johanna, you want to start thinking about that? Maybe you can do a little side work at home. And I know what you always do is you just go down to a Mexican store and just pick something out of the coolers. Yeah, I bet it does. I bet it does, Christina. That dog cleared the room last night. We were watching football, and he was probably 20, eh, 15 feet away from me and farted. And it was just the nastiest, nastiest thing. <clears throat> Always silent. My son was telling me this is really kind of. Well, it doesn't matter. I still can't believe that dude drove an hour and a half to come in and play that game. I know I'm not supposed to pick like favorites or anything, but I'm glad he. I'm glad he won just because of that. We got, um, yes, Becky, and they're always silent. I don't know why. We got, uh, I think a farmer coming up next.
So Megan is doing. Yeah, I know. Megan is doing the cameras this morning. She's doing a great job. She is doing the cameras. She's doing content as well. She's outside doing guest stuff. Okay. She also is the one that picked up the horse earwax. Right, she's really working hard today. Where is it, Scott? What do you say? No, I've not done that yet, Deb. We forgot the last time we went. Who? Oh, okay. There it is. Can you can you can we block this person? Prince Amika Juliet. That's spam. Uh, okay. Ban ban user. That's the same, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I got him. <clears throat> We had Penthouse Amy on here. I saw a minute ago. Oh. Uh, gotta see the wax. Oh, it stinks. It's, it's I need nasty. to close the lid. I do believe that he that he really got it, but it makes you question whether or not. Just from the people on the cam. The Anthony fans. But he didn't have an I mean did we say what it was before? We didn't say what it was before we took his phone. You f you physically took his phone from him? Yeah. Yeah. And it was just, he just got it. He worked well under pressure, I think. Well, I think once he said wax. Yeah. And then you nay. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, you got it, though. Yeah, and he's the one who made the long drive, too, so at least it was worth the drive. Are we fresh out of ideas now? We have come up with one for next week, don't we? Oh, yeah, we we do. That was the last idea. Yeah. That was fun and interesting, he said. Yeah, you know. Oh, I only heard horse wax. That's close enough. It didn't matter because yeah. he was closer than the other ones anyway. Yeah, they didn't even say wax. What other wax would a horse have, though? Like a wax to wax their body with. Okay. Like a wash and a wax. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. I suppose. Dirty diaper from Iggy. Oh, that'd be a good oh one. nasty. That'd be a good one. That newborn poop is nice and dark. I want the green light from Penthouse Amy saying that we can have live animals in there. I know. I'm bummed out. I haven't got to be here for that. Yeah. Ooh, nice, Christina. Ooh. Do you think it's staying intact? Like, yeah. Does a cyst stay intact like yeah. a tumor? Like, it wouldn't, yeah. couldn't pop it, though? Someone squeezed too hard. They had, I had, uh, I have to be careful because sometimes that sounds like I have lymphoma. What? Lipoma. Is oh, that lipoma? I have a lipoma in my arm. Yeah, I had one in my hip. My doctor took oh, it out. And it, so was, it was it was like it was it a hurt? little ball. Yeah. He numbed it up. Oh yeah, text me any ideas, Georgia. Like those primary care physicians, they love to do these little minor surgeries cuz all day long all they're doing is cough, you know, people right. are it's just uh, just normal sickness. Yeah. So he wanted to get it out and I felt like I did him a favor. Yeah, do you want this hand sanitizer? He shook your hand. Does it stink? Did he shake the same hand that... I don't know what hand touched it. You'd smell it, so he probably used the other hand. Oh, you sent the text. That's good. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that, makes, that made my head hurt. Kind of bad. <laughs> Samantha, what I did, it was dumb. Boiled eggs, yeah. Oh, Georgia, was that that's the eyes? Listen, there was creativity in that, Christina. That's when we did eyeballs on that guy. We tried to make it for people think that it was real eyeballs. Oh, I got a good idea from Schwabi and Georgia. All right. These are good. Thanks, guys. Our doctor doesn't do them. 
Yeah, the one in my arm actually kind of hurts. I didn't even notice it until... The lipoma? Yeah, I was like putting lotion on and then I was like, holy moly. Really? It's kind of... Well, I feel like it's big. Nobody else can even hardly feel it. Those are really good ideas. I had that nasty cyst. What's that cyst called? I had on my ankle. Uh, you had a cyst on your ankle? It's bad. Yeah. Penthouse Amy has one too. She had hers removed. It's like... Like on the ankle bone? Like underneath. It's kind of gone away. Like it'll... Like you can smash it and it'll break up, but then sometimes it comes back. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's almost what? like I had an extra ankle joint in there for a while. Interesting. Like a shelf. It was gross. Did it never hurt? Never hurt. That's good. But they had to do a uh, gang. Christine. Yeah, it's a ganglion. That's right, Brandon. Ganglion. Yes, 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 oh. yes. It's not a good name for a cyst. I had a ganglion. Everybody knows I had a ganglion cyst. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. I don't know if this is Kenny's pen or if this this was Johanna's, but this keep pen it, steal is. It. Yeah. That's a good pen. Yeah, I would just keep it. <laughs> not, See you, Willie. No, nice job on the box, buddy. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's. I felt so much more confident today lifting the box up that I would be okay later. <clears throat> I still. Yeah. I can't believe he got it in thirty seconds. Yeah, it was good. Very nice. Very nice. Is that your pen, Johanna? The black one. Is she on here? Sharpie roller. Ooh, that's a good nope, pen. That's my pen. You can have it. <laughs> he knows that's my good pen. I'm not stealing the pen. I just had my headphones stolen. How bad of Juju would that be to steal the pen? Oh, th what did you do about that, though? Well, so Steve Earrings texted me, and he said that he asked what kind they were. Yeah. And I debated telling him or not. I felt weird. I because felt they're weird. expensive. Yes. I feel weird about it. I and, mean, it does. So, suck, what have you done? Did you tell him? I told him what they were. I waited a few hours before I text back because I was like, I just feel weird about it. I feel bad because I feel like I'm a liability then. Like, oh, Mugen's going to lose all her stuff and we're going to have to buy it. Right. But I didn't lose it. That's the thing. So, did, uh, yeah, this is a nice pen. No, Anthony, I did not self-diagnose. I do self-diagnose a lot, though. I self-diagnosed a separated rib. My doctor didn't know it. <sighs> um, is he going to get your headphones in? I don't know. We didn't say he didn't say anything after that. Just went silent after yeah. he, after he googled it and saw how much they were. <laughs> yeah. I heard, and I don't know this for sure, but Penthouse Amy said that it's got to come out of his his. Stop. Yeah. Oh, I don't want them. Yeah. I don't want it's it. It's his responsibility because we work <clears throat> under him, and he has to make sure that that stuff doesn't happen around here. Oh, and my so gosh. so she told me she's going to teach him a lesson. Holy and crap. And he had to pay it. Yeah. Well, he's going to hate me then. I think he does already. <laughs> Probably. He hates everybody. It's Probably. Just, it's his attitude. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm kidding. She didn't say that. In her thumb for t Ew. In her thumb. She had one in her, in her thumb. Ganglion? Had to be off work for two weeks, but should have been three. Schwaber. <laughs> that's not. That came from the <laughs> horse's mouth. That's what Johanna told me. And she heard the separated. No, she that wasn't thinking from her. Who told somebody her told her that, Yeah, right? somebody told her that, and then she relayed it on the air. And it is true. I can't. But, I don't know. I mean, technically, the pain lasts longer. Yes. Months. Three months. But me. the body parts associated are just so I had a very... huge lump. I, did you feel it? I had you feel it. And a big old baby. I didn't feel it. You haven't felt my hump. No. You still have a hump? Yeah. The hump's still there. It's still there. It will never go away. It'll be here till the day I die. Yeah. And it wasn't broken? Why is, What's the hump from? Because I I it's get it. calcified. It's do you understand the pain that I went through? Oh. This is the rib cage, and then there's like a ligament or something, and it's separated from it. So this rib is now called a floating rib. It was doing this. And it's calcified. And that's when it would do this on the air, Johanna would give me dirty looks because <laughs> I was hurting in pain. 
she wait. got she got mad at me because I was I would always like it just out of nowhere yeah. the rib would start doing this. So wait, if it's calcified, it sounds like you're like a cave in there. But then it finally grew back together, and then it and then it, that's where the hump came from. How long did that take? The hump is not arthritis, Johanna. Go and feed. <laughs> just go and just do some feeding right now or something. <clears throat> Well, technically, you probably can get arthritis. Any bones that are like bone on bone. Don't listen could, to her. She's no, starting I'm a narrative saying, that is you not get true. Pain, like for the rest of your life from that, though, from it I joining don't know. back I together. Don't, probably. That would make it that even worse. Make... Her, she ain't going to have vagina pain for the rest of her <laughs> life, is she? No. Well, no, but. <clears throat> Gary and Johanna in the morning. It's the only morning show in my life. On Froggy 98. Coming up in a few minutes, we're going to be thanking a farmer. We do it every week. We're giving away tickets to Luke Bryan. His farm tours come in September the 22nd. That's just in a couple of weeks. And Murdoch. Thanks to Can Equip Syracuse and uh, Dalton Ag Products. I don't know if we're going to get the farmer on. I hope so. We're going to try. We're going to be talking to uh, a relative of the farmer. So this, the farmer that was selected this morning, actually, this is the first time this has happened, and we're getting hundreds and hundreds of people that are nominating farmers. This is the first time, I believe, that we had two separate people nominate this one farmer. That's a good sign. So two different reasons why, and I'll tell you one of the reasons why, and I thought this was actually kind of funny. Uh, she says he likes to hum Luke Bryan songs while tending to his longhorns. <laughs> he thinks no one can hear him, but they but they do. Uh, I want cute. him to be able to sing along live in concert with all of his Tri-County area to see. So that was one of the people that said, you know, something about him. And then the other one is it, it gets it's a little more. Uh, a little more emotional, a little more sensitive, you know, yeah. about kind of some of the things he's gone through and how much he means. And Right. So we're going to bring on a guy who I believe is related to him. His name is Tim, and he's going to tell us more about this farmer. And and then we can try, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we can try to three-way call. Oh, that'd be amazing. Maybe, I want to hear him sing. <laughs> yeah, me too. Maybe he can three-way call him and we can get him on here and we can thank him personally yeah that'd be great if not i don't know it's eight o'clock what do you i mean got long horns what do they do is he out feeding them right now is that early <laughs> well, morning probably feeding? up the long horns assume. for the guy the farmer i hope <laughs> i don't know we're gonna we'll see we'll just kind of see what happens that's what kind of what we do every morning anyway so thank a farmer we'll do that when we come back here in just a few minutes Woo! we can't keep your drinks cold while you're there but we can hook you up with concert tickets to get it's Amy, actually pronounce Amy, if you're upstairs listening, can you please fix that? I don't know what it is. Yeah, no lie. That's like really, really, really distracting to the max. <clears throat> oh, it's so bad. It makes my literal, my ADHD brain like go crazy trying to think at the same time. Can't. Farmers work hard, but a farmer's wife is superwoman. And Johanna said, I might pee my pants for the rest of my life. No, you know, we'll see. It can, that's true, though. You can have. But that is issues. cute. That is cute. It's cute to pee your pants. When a woman, when you make her laugh so hard, and she says, "I'm gonna, oh my god, I'm gonna pee my pants, I'm gonna pee my pants," and she starts to run to the bathroom. But if she does pee her pants, how cute is it how then? How often when she sits do on, you when usually she's make her, pan, it. her you, pants on your couch? You usually. But listen, she did not have to pee her pants. She opted. She could have gone C-section again. Everyone does, deserves the right to do that. She point is, she brought life into this world and she nobody deserves to pee their, their pants con- after what that. i'm trying to say is her consequences to decisions that you make in life <laughs> and that's that was her decision so oh. that's the consequences she has to pay there are things you can do to repair that i suppose like what what did i do to deserve this rib action nothing is it from jujitsu yes. what happened to you did you get kicked in the ribs no i did nothing just the doctor told me that my ligaments aren't flexible anymore oh Yes, it is, Georgie. It is so cute. Not the action of actually peeing your pants, but when you're like running to the bathroom, it's, it's adorable. It's so cute when her pants are all wet and my couch is soaked, and then we like have to throw it in the washer. That's so cute. How many times do you actually pee your pants? I've not peed my pants. That's what I'm saying. No, yeah. no, and I've had two kids. I guess I've not peed my pants. But you get that like 
that feeling, especially if you're like jumping on a trampoline or something, you're like, yeah, I've had two kids. I don't think I want to even risk this. Jump on a trampoline? Yeah. It could feel like the, you know, just the feeling like, oh, I got to go pee. Like yeah. that feeling is there, but like I haven't. See, now I've only pants. heard that sensation when you're laughing so hard, then you're going to pee. Not, never heard trampoline talk before. Yeah. It's new. Think of like, I don't think people use pogo sticks anymore, but that'd probably make me pogo pee sticks. my pants. No, nobody uses <laughs> pogo sticks. How old are you? How do you get a hold of a pogo stick? I had one. Oh my gosh, I broke every bone in my body almost. Between that and my rollerblades, I just shouldn't have been on those types of things. Um, you kept peeing your pants all night? Why were you peeing your pants? Oh, yeah, like a bladder sling. Is that what they call it? A bladder sling? I don't know. What yeah. One of my friends had to have bladder surgery after having a baby. All right, let me see here. Let me get this guy's number. You can do the potty dance with the water on? That's what a lot of people say why they have to pee in the shower. Because if you're in the water. I don't trust people that pee in the shower. <clears throat> That's funny, Casey. That's so gross, Anthony. He still feels it under his fingernails. Anthony does. Mm -hmm. Oh, Becky, that's awesome. <laughs> I haven't peed myself since 2011. Your call has been forwarded to a... We're in my like pee it. pants right now. Kind of, what do pee pants look like? We can try. I hate to do that to him. But I'm Oh, you're calling... Hello, uh, Froggy98. Hello. Uh, my name's Chase. Uh, Megan told me to call in. Chase. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Hold wait on. a minute. Time out. Megan who? Uh, Megan of Froggy98. Wait a minute. I was, I was supposedly won the Larry Flea tickets. Oh, oh no, yeah. your name's on Will Call. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I no. I that worked. Yes, no, that's okay. Um, I hopefully, I think I did. I text you back and get your info yet? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And your name is Chase. Yeah. Chase, you're live on the radio right now. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. There's like thousands and thousands of people that are hearing your voice right now. Anything well, you want to tell them? Thanks for listening. Oh, cool. What do you want well, to say to? You. What do you want to say to the world? Uh, I guess probably just say my cousins because they're probably watching the show if it's going on right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sam, so yeah, cool. and yeah, you're going to Larry Fleet, it. so that's pretty cool. Yeah, any secrets? That'll be a lot of fun. Heck Thanks, yeah. guys. You're All welcome. Right, we'll see you later. Yeah, names that we'll call. Okay. okay. Thanks. Right. Hello, Froggy ninety eight. Hi, this is Tim. Hey, Tim. I'm trying to get a hold of you, buddy. Couldn't find the button to. Couldn't find the button to press. Buttons oh, that hard. scares me, Tim. That Buttons scares me. Here, hang on. We're going to talk about. Does he know? Does uh, Jason know that he won? Uh, uh, yeah, I think he kind of got a heads up from from my uh, a little bit, but yeah, just can't, can't it might not be keep a secret. I kind of had to warn him that he needed to wait for a call. So, all right. Well, here, hang on. So hopefully, so hopefully he'll answer too. Oh, let me see if I can look into. But. Okay, oh, hang on here, Tim. Hey, one. Luke Bryan's farm tour is coming to Murdoch on September the 22nd. We're thinking a farmer every week. We're giving away four packs of tickets. Uh, what you need to do if you want to think a farmer is go to froggy981.com and tell us why they deserve. Why, why do you want to thank them? What do you want to say about them? And you could win tickets uh, for them to go to Luke Bryan's farm tour. It's with Can Equip Syracuse and Dalton Ag Products. This week's winner, his name is uh, Jason. And we have Tim on this morning with us to talk about Jason. Now, you're related, right, Tim? 
cousin? Yeah, he's my cousin. He's your cousin? Okay. And what is he, what kind of farmer is he? He's a, is he a cattle farmer? Um, well, he had some longhorns for a while there. I posted, kind of embellished a little bit about him singing to his longhorns <laughs> on my nomination, but oh. that was more to embarrass him than anything. But, uh, That's okay. But uh, right. he has, uh, he's mostly crops and soybeans and corn and everything. Okay. So. And and why should he, why should he win this, these Luke Bryan tickets? Oh, it's just that time of year. And I got to beat the heat, get up early in the morning, and stay out late to, to get a, uh, get get the harvest in and everything. And and it might be, not not that they need an excuse to drink a beer at, <laughs> when they're all done with that or anything, but might be a little more motivation to get get dressed up to do it to get the wife out and everything he oh, actually sure. have a little more fun while they're doing it tim he huh? was actually nominated not only by you but also do you know who elizabeth is yeah that's my sister yeah oh that is your sister okay oh. so you guys she and i just want to read what she wrote uh she says i'm nominating my cousin jason for this like all farmers he is in, he's an all-around busy guy the last several years he's been especially busy for him while his dad was battling cancer and now he's farming without him he deserves a break to slow down for a night and just enjoy some music. And who knows, maybe he would even take his sister with him for some sibling, uh, sibling bonding time. So Aww. it sounds like things have been kind of rough there for a while, and which is very difficult, obviously, um, going through that you know, oh, yeah. with the family. Yeah, that's tough. And, uh, she was nicer about it than I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a woman is always better. That's okay. They always say things yeah. a little bit sweeter than a guy. Like, you're like, oh, he just get dressed up and go have a good time. <laughs> hey, is there a way that we can, I'm concerned that you're going to be able to pull this off, but can we three-way call? Can you just add a caller yeah. on your phone and try to get him on it's here this morning? another button to push. I think Jason already <laughs> yeah. knows that he's exactly. a winner. But yeah, let me see. Uh, get to my keypad here. Yeah, go ahead. Take it. Your, your equipment is probably better than ours. Exactly. Or we I could, was just going to We could try to do that here, but that. I don't know that it would work. So see yeah, can... yeah, but it's more of a user error sort of thing with me. <laughs> sure. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> uh, we believe in you. While he's trying to get uh, Jason on here so we can thank him for what he does and give him these tickets, just a reminder that you can also thank a farmer. I think next week, is next week the final week of this? I think it is, yeah. That you can, you can do this. I um, so. Go to froggy981.com to nominate your favorite farmer or family farm right now with Can Equip Syracuse and Dalton Ag Products, and, and they could win tickets to Luke Bryan's farm tour as well. And all next week, we're we're going to have Luke Bryan tickets for you to win as well right here on the show for the farm tour. Any luck there, Tim? Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear you on that one. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Are you having any luck trying to bring him on the show? It's not looking promising. Well, the fact that we don't hear him, I think he's... Moved over to his call. Right. About to merge. But I always do this, and I don't know if he's as, as bad at adding a call as I am, but I always forget that then. Merge back. Yes. It's like <laughs> an extra step. Yet. And I'm call. like, well, how come? Where are they? <laughs> and then you have to look at your phone. And you're like, oh, dang it. I got to go back and uh, merge another. What? I, I can't relate. You're right. You have no problem with it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're three way in all the oh. time, are you? Yeah, it was, it was ringing. I'm. I can't figure out, oh, there goes that. That's, call, but maybe he'll That's try what I'm saying, back. man. Yeah. It's not that easy. Listen, Tim, I can never figure it out either. Is it ringing on his end? It was, it was, but then it wasn't. I couldn't oh, hear that's you okay. anymore. Well, so that's all right. Listen, tell Sounds him. Like he knows. Tell him we said thank you. We'll be in contact, and he did win the four tickets to Luke Bryan's farm tour. Thank you. Oh. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. We appreciate you guys nominating him. We hope you guys have fun at the, at the big uh, show, okay? Oh, yeah. All yeah. right, Tim. We'll, we'll, we'll let his sisters and everybody fight over the extra tickets. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> you're going for sure, aren't you? Of course you're going. But, but anyway, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a nice weekend. Uh, we'll see you. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> what a riot. <sighs> Too bad. Oh. Yeah, user error is a thing. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh. It's starting to get hot up in here again. It is. It's hot. That stuff made my head hurt. I don't like smells. It hurts up in my neck. 
Oh, yeah, the door. Gosh. The door is. We're trapped in our own heat. <sighs> Felt like it was getting worse. Um, that guy was funny. I knew that he was going to be kind of <laughs> mm, interesting. Yeah, right. When his response to, I'll call you tomorrow morning, his response was, cool in the gang. Oh. <laughs> he was cool in the gang? Because That's I cool, hilarious. Cool in the gang. Well, okay, this is going to be fun. Oh, my gosh. Right. Yeah, Jim, I said, uh, are you going to make your daughter treat you to a steak dinner tonight for doing the box for you? And he said, oh, she's going to get a an A whooping. <laughs> <laughs> so you remind me of a Duck Dynasty. He goes, yep, I get Uncle, is it Uncle Cy all the time? Yeah, I don't, that stuff. He said, but I don't drink tea. I drink beer. <laughs> it was funny. on fire for a while there. How many years ago was that? Like, it seemed like 10 years ago. Oh, yeah. Then they all had books and merch. You gotta take you advantage of what you can. Strap on beards. Yeah. I think my dad still has his Duck Dynasty cups. He cuts. was a big fan, huh? Oh, big fan. Big, big fan. Who did Sadie Robertson marry? Didn't she marry a country singer? I don't remember. I, feel I was like, like she did. I was barely into that show. Really? It's just, it's all, I, I just default. can't take that. They're, they're just all, they're fake. Like, I just can't yeah. take, they're all, they all have storylines. Like, mm -hmm. none of that stuff has and happened. Great in beards. Their beards are real. Huh? Their beards are real. Well, I'm sure they if are. If you're into that. If you're into, into that kind of thing. Oh, is that right, Swabber? Really? Is that why? I just always feel if you don't like it, don't watch it. They getting canceled and stuff. If you don't like it, don't watch it. We should have gotten farmer's number to call her. Did we not have the farmer's number? I don't know. I think we just had the first. No, we just had the nominators. Yeah, I believe. We should leave this jar in the fridge. Oh, for, uh, for um, what's her name? Jill Bone. Yeah, let's leave it in the fridge. Yeah. It'll look like a, a snack of some sort. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get Jill Bone, you got to put it downstairs by the sink, because evidently she uses the sink all the time, which is BS. She does not. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just feel like we need to do something with it. I don't think I have to give it back, so. What would they do with it? I can't even believe they had it to begin with. No. Why what? Look up my nomination. I just sent it. It's the best. Heather, uh, Did full, you submit full it disclosure, online? Heather, we don't pick them. I've seen a couple th come through on text. I think they have to be entered online, correct? I thought about that too, Swapster. Bag of chips. I don't know if I would forgive me if somebody ate this. Yeah. What if they got sick? Yeah. Who's Heather? Heather, do I know you? LOL. No one uses that sink, Gary. Silly. Heather. Who's Heather? That looks like a new name on there for some reason. Oh, I feel God, terrible God. if I work with you, Heather. Do you work here? <laughs> <laughs> we have people upstairs I don't know, to be honest with you. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah, we wanted to play that game. That got that got canceled before it even started. The game was, do okay. I work with you? Oh, and my so gosh. we would have a listener. We would have a person on. Yeah. And then we all had to guess whether or not we actually worked with them. That's but funny. But, I mean, it. honestly, especially in the mornings, I worked with people at the other place for years and didn't know <laughs> That's who right, they Heather. were. Yeah, I know, and not only that, like there's there, there's turnover, there's turnover everywhere, you know. But yeah, I think they thought it made us look like, I don't know, not in a good light, but yeah. I, th I thought it would be funny. I think it would be funny too. That's right, Sylvania. That's right. You guys are right. We did. That's when we had the condom down there 
drooped over the sink. Oh, my God. Who found it? I don't remember. Oh, wait a minute. That's that's that one I went? Yeah, that was the condom cam. Condom cam. And we cam. couldn't get anybody to go down there. I told them there were treats, so I went and told Kayla and those old dudes. Oh, they I didn't said, there's treats you. downstairs. Yes, they went downstairs for the treats immediately. <laughs> they went down yes. for the treats, so they're the ones that found the condom yeah, first. Yeah, the treat was the condom. Yeah, draped over the sink. Did they laugh, or were they disturbed? Uh, They didn't laugh. I think they were upset <laughs> there were no treats down there. That's funny. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, we're just on the cam. Yeah, what's going on? This is HR right here, guys. Welcome by. Hi. Where? Which date? Mm. Yes. Okay. Yep. Thanks, yes, sir. sir. Thanks for checking in. Oh, I did make a mistake on one thing. Um, One of the days where it says I clocked in at like 640 something, I was actually here at 6. But I rem- I just forgot to clock in until six forty. What? Oh yeah, that that was it. Anything that's past six, I forget. I know, I forgot. <laughs> You'll get you. Man. I made a boo boo. <clears throat> yeah, one of the days, um, because they told me to stay clocked in when I work on. Why am I still single? Yes. So yeah, I was one of the days I was working. A little bit later. He goes, is that right? Yeah. He did. He asked that. HR. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, it was like till noon or something that mm-hmm. day because I was on. I was messaging for hours. Yeah. Oh, my God. That day I was I was messaging for hours. Mm-hmm. Does it help like when we have the feature girl last this last? Oh, Rachel? it helps so, so much. You get a bunch of guys. It helps just have a, pool a ton. Of them then. Yep. I yeah. have I have a couple for actually the next. Yeah, I have the next two weeks. Covered. Yeah. Yep. I'm, well, I'm waiting to hear back for. You know, Angie Pruitt really, really wants to give it another shot. She really feels like this is the way she's gonna. She's gonna meet someone. She may. And I appreciate her diligence and seeing it through. It's scary to put yourself out there. I think that's. What happens? Is sometimes. she coming back on? You she ever? wants to. Yeah. I have someone that. I'm thinking I might contact. Yeah. Forgot to clock in. Well, of course. Sylvania. Get her Sylvania. Why would I want to miss out on that money? Mm-hmm. Um. Did you find out what department Heather works in? Or where? Like what time of day? What do you mean? Well, what time do you leave? Because Heather, no, Heather here, doesn't so she, work. Oh, she doesn't. No. Oh. No, she said she was watching the cam the day that we had. The oh, gotcha. Cam. I missed that. Yeah. Oh, nice, Tammy. You do? Oh, wait, Sam. Is it who you messaged me about? Because that's who I was. I was thinking of contacting. Yes, because you gave me the. You put the thought in my brain. But it would be for the following Sam week. for me. <laughs> Angela, we'll find you a guy, I promise. We will. We Was don't want to j- just like stick you up there with anybody, though. Didn't you know? she and Dougie Fresh do something or no? No, I think they just became friends on there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sam, we're on the same page. Yep, that's exactly who I'm going to be talking with, but it wouldn't be for this coming week. It would be for the following week. Megan, are you new? Megan uh, Robinson, I've never seen you before. Hmm. Look for my text. Okay. When did you text, David, just now? Woo! Let's see. Let me see your text. David, when did you when did you text? Yesterday. Oh. Good luck finding it. Oh my gosh, <clears> there's <throat> so if you text just text me right now, David, then it'll bump it to the top and I can see it because there's so many 
um, ticket. I hate that. And I hate that you can't delete them then later. Uh, Jamie, Jamie Lee, where are you? Cow spell. What is that? And she said, no, I watch you guys quite a bit. Oh, you do? <laughs> My bad. I just saw you. I just saw that you're, what, do you comment much? David, can you text me? <laughs> you're not going to be able to stop them singing. You got on a roll of singing this morning. I know, I can't stop. Oh, wait, I found you. I meant to Google Kalispell. 42 degrees in Kalispell. Oh! Yeah, you can. Um, you can re-gift. Um, are they physical day. tickets for Russell Dickerson? You asking me? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't know why I'm asking you. Don't ask me. Um, Montana. Because he said he cannot go, so he didn't know if... If he can give the tickets up or re-gift them, his babysitter backed out. So he's scrambling. And that's tonight? Russell Dickerson then? Yes, yeah, wrong person. I know. Why do I keep asking you? I don't know. Maybe just talking. <laughs> I'm like half asking you. The sitter backed out completely. Yes, Jacob, I messaged her back because I feel like I have the wrong... I don't have her phone. Let's see. Okay, she just saw it. Okay, I'll be able to send that to you here in a sec. I just sent you her Facebook link. Uh. Hmm. Let's see. All right. Jacob. I don't like this setup of this text. The text app. is nice, is but it's also not. I don't know that we know everything about it. Right. Like. Okay. Mm -mm. Carlos. What's up, buddy? Okay. I'm. She has yours. I'm just waiting for, for hers back from her. We talking about Rachel's. She has Jake's number, but I haven't heard back from her yet. <clears throat> about what? Her phone number. Well, we've just been Facebook messaging. Well, listen, Jacob. Maybe she don't want to give it out. Maybe she wants to Facebook message first. I don't know. No, maybe she wants to no message. But she said. She said thumbs up. I know. I know what she said. I feel like she's the type of girl I know that, that would have thumbs say down. That. I know that people say that all the time. They feel bad. I don't know, that's, that's not a knock on her. I love her. She's oh, fantastic. Oh, she's amazing. But, but she could also just be really busy right now. Like She's like She is really busy, busy right now. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying, if she's got his number, then... No. My cousin had a baby. Look at this. We just <laughs> got this. The hard truth. You just never know what happened. He passed out. She just her cousin just had a baby in the, it's hard the dad work, hard passed work being out. A man. The things you <laughs> see. The things you see. That is so funny. Wait, <clears> who <throat> was that who sent that? That's hilarious. I have got to change this. Oh, he's okay though, so we can laugh about it. Okay. Come on and update. Come on and update. Tracy's collision cam is live. Facebook.com slash froggy nine eight one. I don't remember his name, but congratulations to him, Megan Yume, the guy that won the uh, the tickets for the Huskers for tomorrow. Yeah. Do you remember his name? Jake. You're very good. Did you just make that up, or is that his real name? No, that's his name. He got peed on at a Husker game, and so we're going to send him back in Oh, again. no, Josh. <laughs> it's Josh, not Jake. It's close enough for me. I don't care. There's so many Jakes lately. Josh got peed on at a Husker game during, uh, it was raining out. He's wearing a poncho, and he felt the temperature was different, and the stream was a little bit harder than the rain that was yeah. falling. He turned to look to see a giant man peeing on four people, singing, it's raining, it's pouring. <laughs> <laughs> and then he yelled to go big red when he's finished up. He so was scared was, of him, so he let him I finish. I would be too, yeah. Uh, that was the, the wildest game day experience that we heard. So he's going to see Georgia Southern tomorrow. Next week, we will have Oklahoma tickets. 
that arguably is going to be the biggest game. I don't know. We, there's some big games this year, but, First you know, Oklahoma, game. people don't like Oklahoma. Right. I live there. I know why. I get it. Yeah. And just the rivalry of when we were in the same conference. So this is one that everybody wants to see. We've not determined yet exactly what we're going to do for you to win these tickets. If you listen on Monday, uh, we will reveal that. Also, all next week, we've got your tickets for uh, Luke Bryan's farm tour. We've been talking a, a, a bunch about that. we got a party bus that's going on September the 22nd. So we're going to give that. you a chance to win tickets next week. One way that we, we can tell you now, one way that you're going to be able to, to win, and we'll post about this after the show, is we're looking for cheater stories for Monday's show. Yeah, we still need a couple. We have one really, really oh, juicy it involves one. DNA. Yeah. It involves DNA. <laughs> it's really bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's not saying her name, is she? No, she's staying anonymous. It's a call, yeah. Those are the best, yeah. Doesn't want her face on there. Don't, Don't blame her. Don't want her name out there. She's telling the story. And she didn't find out about this until late in life, right? Recently, I don't want to give I away believe. too much. Yeah, recent. Yeah, it's good. So juicy. Now, yours doesn't have to be that good. This. Yours can be, I went home, there's a different car in the driveway, yada, yada, yada. Doesn't matter. And then I caught him. Yeah, we just want something that would be good and people would listen to. Right. So if you have one of those stories, you can share that with us. You can text us anytime, 474-FROG, and say, hey, I got one. And then if it happens to be read on the air on Monday, you will have a chance to see Luke Bryan and his farm tour. All right? So just be thinking about that. You can also post um, on, you know, comment on the post that we'll, we'll be making after the show. But And then all next week, Luke Bryan tickets to win. All right? So Monday, tell us the cheater story. You could be going to see Luke Bryan. And then um, I just keep repeating myself, and I don't know why. Yeah. And then we have tickets all next week. <laughs> I was just letting you do your thing over there. And then on Monday, we've got Luke Bryan tickets. <laughs> it made me feel like I was, like, deep misprogrammed for a second. No, nope, it was I'm like, me. I was misprogrammed. I hearing, the hearing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon mentions Lincoln, Nebraska, mentioned Lincoln, Nebraska on a show last night. Interesting. Yeah, Jake, that's a good attitude. No, I think she's probably just busy right now. She, that's what I'm saying, Jake. She hasn't just seen leave it my in her message hands, yet. Man. So. Just leave it in her hands, buddy. Yeah. Fate will, will speak. And if not, we'll, we'll have you back. We'll figure something out. Yeah, you're a good-looking guy. For sure. Good taste in soda. I like that. What were you saying, Gary, about the cheater stories? LOL. I said it four times, didn't I? Lol. <clears throat> that's one that's hard to fill, it seems like. Like that's Yeah. Um <clears throat> I'm texting you, Jake. You're texting what? I'm texting Jake. Because, yeah, the first time I sent, because I didn't get a response back, so I just sent her Facebook info. Oh, man. And free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. Hey, it's Gary Greenwood for QC Kinetic. Summer is pretty much over. If the pain in your body is still there, it's time to do something about it. Call QC Kinetics. You put it off long enough, it's time for you to feel the way you used to feel. Real lasting relief from chronic pain in your knees, your back, your shoulders, and your hips. They can get you moving again with cutting-edge regenerative treatments with no drugs, no downtime, and no surgery. Our regenerative medicine uses highly concentrated healing powers properties from your own body to restore and repair damaged joint tissue and they're actually the nation's leader in this exciting breakthrough uh, method of of relieving you from pain natural approach to eliminating joint pain lots of people right here in the lincoln area have done this and they're living life to the fullest pain free call them today 
and set up your complimentary consultation. The number is 402-205-4270. QC Kinetics, 402-205-4270. They're located here in Lincoln on the third floor of the St. Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Medical Center. That's 402-205-4270. Introducing the Planet Fitness Guide to getting that post-workout glow. Step one, what's your why? More epic energy, better sleep, blow off steam? Step two, join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel any time, and get moving. Put that wax on someone's car door handle. That would be so mean. I wouldn't feel as bad setting it out and letting natural consequences take place. What's natural consequences? Like what if are they someone do? is not sound Nobody's rude, but touch it. dumb enough to eat it, or why would they? It, it looks fridge. nasty. Nobody gonna eat that. You'd have to put some crackers like out there. It's like a dip. Yeah. You'd have to put crackers out there and say, "I made this from home." Yeah. I would do that and then put dash Jill Bone. Mm. So people think Jill Bone brought it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah? I just don't know what to do with this. You could always take it home, rinse it out, put your leftovers in it. Why don't you just dump it in the alley like we have everything else? <laughs> That's what we usually do. We live in a bad neighborhood, so Seriously? it kind of matches. Yeah. Probably I meant it won't ruin anything, but it would be funny. 474 Frog, Carlos. Did Johanna come and get that stuff yesterday? No, it's back here. Oh, it is. Oh, you're going to Luke Bryan together? That's awesome. Love that. That's just... Sam, don't spill the beans on who we want to hook her up I, with. I just wish that it wasn't on a Thursday night. I know. I actually would probably... I went to his farm tour last time and i had a great time it's right around my it was yeah i went it was too. on my birthday Johanna and I last went. time and i had a i had a fun birthday yeah i love having a september birthday i think it is the best month for a run because it's like perfect weather there's fun stuff to do like what like pumpkin patches that was gonna be my first thing you were apple saying. orchard picking over, we go to Nebraska City every fall and we do the whole Applejack thing, you know, festival. Is it fun though? Like, it's really, fun. truly fun? It's truly fun because it's pretty relaxing. So it it's relaxing. It expel a lot of energy. Yeah. You take a little hay rack ride, they have little bonfires, you make s'mores and have cider. You don't have to sing or talk to people and like hold hands and kumbaya. Will you do that when the kids are all gone? I think so because they have the best pillows in the entire world at Arbor Day Lodge. Those pillows. What's the pillow for? To sleep in their be- in the hotel room. Oh, you stay there. We stay at the hotel there, at the Arbor Day Lodge, and the pillows there. And I've asked them before what pillows they are. There's no tags. There's no markings. I go there to sleep on those pillows. They're the best. And they won't tell you what kind of pillow it no, is. No, they're gatekeeping. So I do keep giving them business. You ever thought about stealing one? I did think about it because they just won't tell me, but I've never stolen a thing just, in my life. But it's, is it really stealing if you replace it with a, with a pillow? What if I left a note saying, I took this pillow, please charge uh, my card for it. Then I get the pillow, but you it's could used. Do that. You could do that. But then it's used. I don't but know you're already, way. it's already used while you're sleeping on I it. I know, but if I'm going to want it for my house, I don't want to take it. The but if a pillowcase is new, it's like the pillow is new. I know. I still just know, though, in my mind. I would try to just, I would not leave a note. You are different than me. But yeah. I would just leave, like, a Walmart pillow there in oh. place of it. Oh. Like, leave a replacement. They, they would the, know. The housekeepers won't know. You could feel the difference. I've never felt a pillow like this in my life. It's like the one that got away kind of a feeling. Mm, that's <laughs> I a good accidentally idea, packed David. it. That's a good idea. She's not a yeah. thief, though. She's got she yeah. it in her blood. See, like, I think I hear stuff like that, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do that. And I don't do it. I've never stolen one thing in my life. I couldn't I couldn't start now. I have an irrational fear of going to jail. Like, that's one of my biggest fears in life. Even though I'm a rule follower. it's That's why it's irrational. Just swap it out. You guys are a bunch of thieves. 
You could still go to jail with being a rule follower, though. How? I'm trying to think. I think the only way would be if you if. Mm, I don't see. No, you're right. You have to if you follow every rule ever written. I do I'm not break a like, rule. Like if it's like if you were in a car accident and it was your fault and. Oh. And they died. Yeah, that's another one of my fears for sure. Yeah. Because I've almost hit someone before. Do you ever text and drive? What? Do you ever text and drive? Oh, at stoplights sometimes, yeah. Yeah. But You're my break, car makes a, a beep breaker. when people start to drive away, so then I just get off of my phone. Mm. So it's pretty safe texting. No, I won't say it's safe texting. Yeah, and then it's hooked up to my phone too, so it reads the text and I can just voice text it back. Yeah. So I really don't have a need to pick up my phone when I'm in the car. Never stole. Oh, I I did in high school. I stole a boyfriend. That's right. Now my yeah my my husband Mike would he would swap the pillow or just say hey we're taking a pillow charge it like he would he would straight up take it he's not afraid. Does that dude know more food? There's food here. No, I thought maybe Austin always bring a food. He don't look like. Oh, a that's who's been experimenting with cooking, right? Yeah, I think so. Experimenting. <laughs> Oh yeah, they have a they do, they have a pool and a hot tub. It's just so relaxing there. It'll See, I don't like feeling like I'm in the middle of nowhere and I don't feel like that with Arbor Day, even though it is in a small town. Sweet for me, David. I like like a Riesling, it's really a femi of me, but Yeah, I don't like dry wine. I don't like that feeling in the back of your throat that you get. I haven't drank in 10 years, but I remember that feeling. Why'd you quit? I don't know. I was pregnant with my second, and then, so obviously, you stopped drinking then, or mm -hmm. you should, and then I just never picked it back up. Yeah. I just, it didn't sound good anymore, and I used to get hung over really easy. I was a cheap date anyway. Yeah. I'm a lightweight, so, and so that's a good thing and a bad thing all in one. Yeah. Yeah, they do fill up quickly. We have to book way ahead of time. I can safely do you go, say Deb? I would never go. You what? I would never go there. You would never go? No. You don't have to just go in the fall. Oh, they have this beautiful, big um, deck that wraps around, around the back. The best restaurant ever. It's so good. You're missing out. I don't think so. I don't think I would ever That's do it. That's all right. You won't take a room away from me then. Yeah, you're fine. You're <laughs> safe. No you're pillows safe. for you. No. Nope, nope, nope. It should be cool if you did. The Tracy's Collision Cam is live. Search Frog Mornings on YouTube. <laughs> Hope you have a great weekend. Huskers tomorrow, 6.30, taking on Georgia Southern. Congratulations uh, to Josh. He's our ticket winner. He's going to see the Huskers tomorrow. We're your home of the Huskers, so we have tickets to all the home games. Next week will be Oklahoma. Monday, we'll tell you how you can win them. If you missed any part of the show today, it's all been recorded. You can go back on Facebook or YouTube and watch it. It uh, was pretty interesting. We had a jar of horse earwax in here for what's in the box. <laughs> it still doesn't seem real that this day finally came I know. and happened. We had one of the three people figure that out, and so he, Anthony, won the tickets. And uh, he also drove an hour and a half. He got up, yeah. he, left, he left Grand Island at 5.30 this morning to get to the radio station in time to play the game. So That's commitment. We, uh, we really appreciate that. We also had a Why Am I Still Single update. We weren't re really expecting one. No, not so soon. We Yesterday, if you're listening to the show, we had a, it, was a, it was quite interesting. The two people that we had on to meet each other ended up not meeting each other, and they ended up having other matches because right. we had steals for each of them. Um, we got an update from Diane and TJ. Uh, they actually, so yesterday they matched on the show, and then they went out last night and had drinks and everything. Yeah. And then she, good on her, texts the show and says, mm-mm, no nah, it ain't going nowhere. Here. He's just talking about his ex-girlfriend the whole time. Yeah. Which I can, I don't know that he, is, is he a listener? 
I don't know. He was nominated by his brother. Yeah. So I'm not sure if he's a listener or not. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know if he, we mentioned that earlier this morning. Guys, don't do that. Like, if you're going on a, if you're going on a date, don't bring up Save the it. ex-girlfriend. Don't, they don't want to hear it. Yeah. Just like you don't want to hear her talking about her ex-boyfriend the entire Doesn't time. Doesn't feel good. You want to be focused on. Yes. Yes. Hot tips. <laughs> yeah. Now, as far as Rachel and uh, Coke man Jake, who was working, filling the coolers, the Coke coolers, when we talked to him yesterday... They've not connected yet. Not yet, no. And Hopefully he soon. Messaged us about a hundred times this morning trying to get her information. <laughs> she has his. He's ready to get it going. Yeah, so we'll we'll have an update for you on Monday to see where that's going. Also, cheater stories, don't forget, submit yours. You can do that by texting the show at four seven four frog. And you could win uh, some Luke Bryan tickets if we're readers on the air. Have a great weekend. Hang on, a bunch of music is coming your way in a minute. Chris Stapleton will kick it off next. First thing in the morning. Come on, come on. Okay, okay, You're welcome, Anthony. Okay, Bye, everybody. Have a good okay, weekend. Bye.